Hello, Orc You Mania. Scott here, your producer extraordinaire for Our Reviews Will Kill You. And I'm here to bring you a little news that's come across the desk here at the SWKY Studios. A little Doctor Who news. So if you're watching this because you're a fan of Orc You and Doctor Who, I guess that makes you an Orc Youvian. I know, I apologize. Anyway, speculation is mounting that Jodie Whittaker is departing Doctor Who at the end of this upcoming series. In fact, if you do a simple Google search for Jodie Whittaker, you find article after article, CNET, The Guardian, Screen Rant, Digital Spy, Cinema Blend, Variety, IGN, Sci-Fi, all of these uh, uh, articles coming out about Jodie Whittaker exiting Doctor Who. Of course, BBC is not going to comment on any reports regarding Whittaker, which of course makes sense. They don't want to leak what is in store for the Time Lord. This all started with a report from the Daily Mirror on Sunday, which of course came from an anonymous source. Look, this isn't news. This isn't even worth reporting on. Let's stop for a minute and look at the facts here. Jodie Whittaker followed Peter Capaldi in 2017. Capaldi, of course, followed Matt Smith in 2013. Smith followed my favorite doctor, David Tennant, back in 2010. This is the story of the doctor. They get their seasons in, and then they regenerate, and we move on to the next actor or actress that gets to drive the TARDIS through the time stream. Of course, in the last season, there was the huge twist we found out that the Doctor is, is, is in fact not a Gallifreyan and is not known how many regenerations this character can have. Which, you know what? I think written properly, that can be a great story. However, if they continue down the path they're taking, I don't see any Doctor surviving any passage of time regardless of who's going to take the helm. According to The Guardian, the launch of this show with Jodie Whittaker was the most watched in the decade with 9 million viewers. However, in the last season or two, it's been nothing but negative reviews. And a lot of people want to blame Jodie Whittaker, but I don't. I think Jodie Whittaker has been a fantastic doctor. She has been a nice change to our Peter Capaldi doctor, who was a much se more serious, much darker doctor. Jodie Whittaker is a much lighter, much brighter, funnier, and more uh, uh, relaxed and fun doctor. I like the change that she's brought. The problem I see with Doctor Who right now is the writing. The writing has fallen off hardcore. In fact, multiple times, they're breaking the fourth wall just so they can tell the human race that you're killing the planet and you're to blame because you're a bunch of assholes. Actually, I'm not going to argue that fact, but that's not what we're watching this for. That's not why we're watching Doctor Who. If the writing doesn't change, I don't see Doctor Who continuing. And of course, at the end of this season, Jodie Whittaker is going to hang up her her uh, screwdriver, her, oh wow, I just blanked on whatever that's called. But she's going to hang it up, she's going to pass it on to the next Doctor, whoever that may be. I really do hope it continues, I hope the writing gets better, but we're going to have to just wait and see. What do you think? Has Jodie Whittaker been your favorite Doctor? Do you think this is newsworthy? Is this surprising to you? Who's your favorite doctor? And if you say anyone other than David Tennant, you're wrong. So of course, I'm Scott. This is Our Reviews Will Kill You. I want you to go down. I want you to click that subscribe button. I want you to like this and our other videos. Keep watching. And I look forward to seeing you again in the near future.